Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. Happy Hump Day to you all. We are midweek, guys. It is the weekend is quickly approaching. Yes. So before we get started, I just want to go ahead and say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who wished me well wishes on my birthday, which was Monday. Um, unfortunately, I did not get a chance to give you that message yesterday because there was a big old mishap. Um, my mic went out like five minutes into the vid into the video, and I didn't realize it until I had up I had finished the reading, uploaded it, and then went to do a little bit of editing, <laughs> and figured out that there was no audio, so there was no saving that one at that point. So that's why there was no morning coffee yesterday. If you missed my post about it, <clears throat> but thank you to everyone. I had. A, I had a really great day. I had an even better weekend. Like it was just like from Friday through Monday, it was just like the best. I have to say that this was the best birthday I have had in my life so far. It was just full of so much love and appreciation and so much friendship and family. It was just, it was so beautiful. Even thinking about it now, I'm, I'm kind of getting choked up because it was just so great. But <laughs> Anyway, also, I would like you to meet my newest addition to my table, my desk here. Her name is Sheila. She is a beautiful aloe plant that my, my, one of my best friends, Nat, um, bought for me for my birthday. Some of you may know of her. If you, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen my reposts of her stories on my stories. Um, that's my friend, Nat. And I love her and she's fantastic. And she bought me this aloe plant and now, and her name is Sheila and she's going to be here with us while I do readings. Yay. Okay. So getting into it to, for today, I've decided that I kind of want to start doing a little bit of a pre-shuffle before I start the reading, just to get the energies flowing, start to get to connected, start to get some of the messages going here. As I was doing that for today, the first thing I saw was the color green, okay? Um, which to me um, is the heart chakra. Um, it's love, but it's also healing, okay? And it's love in the sense that it, it represents the heart chakra. Um, but the, what I heard when I tuned into that color was, it's a challenge. And I was immediately thinking of somebody's heart chakra and how, you know, it's opening or expanding. Someone's going through a heart chakra expansion um, or they're getting in touch with their feelings, their emotions, their true desires, their true feelings. Or someone could be like falling in love or feeling deep love and appreciation for someone else and they don't necessarily know how to handle it. Now, as I was pre-shuffling, I was just... You know, I had my eyes closed, I was channeling the energies, and all of a sudden I heard a big thump. <laughs> and of course, in true morning coffee fashion, like, a shit ton of cards fell out. <laughs> Luckily, though, um, they all st fell still stacked on onto each other, so I only saw one card, and it was the Three of Wands. So, first I want to say that in terms of what's going on here um, for this green energy... Someone is on the right path, number one. But number two, someone else is kind of like waiting for their ships to come in. Now, sometimes there's really only so much that you can do in terms of allowing your ships to come in, allowing your manifest, your dreams to manifest. But also, often, fairly often, there are some things you can still be doing. Like the Three of Wands traditionally is represented by someone standing on a shore and a ship coming into that shore. That person can either wait for the people on the ship to get to shore or that person can go get a rowboat and get his ass out to that ship. You know what I mean? So you have an option there. So then I put that back in and then some more cards came out. It was the Seven of Swords with the Chariot and underneath the deck was the King of Cups. So 
someone is coming into terms with their true emotions, their true feelings. They're working on getting balanced and moving forward with something that they truly desire, but others may not necessarily be aware of it. Okay. The seven of swords energy, it doesn't, it didn't feel, it really didn't feel that bad to me. It just felt like there are things happening like underneath the surface or, um, out of your awareness or out of someone else's awareness or out of the you know the general public's awareness um yes now on the other hand there could be there could be some sort of deception some sort of lies maybe cheating um i know <laughs> I'll share this with you. There are two songs that were pop that popped into my head this morning as I like woke up and as I as I was getting ready to do this reading here. <clears throat> Actually, there were three. I don't remember, but it was um, one song popped into my head like as I was waking up this morning for the first time, and now I don't remember it. Um, but then the other two were um, "There's a Stranger in My House" by Tamia, and then also um, "Candy." by um oh god cameo um i love that song and i actually just heard that song recently so that kind of makes sense but the one song um stranger in my house by tamia kind of a little bit lines up with the uh the king of cups the chariot and the seven of swords a little bit okay it depends take it as it resonates um, but I think someone is coming to terms with that. I think whoever represents the King of Cups is actually kind of like starting to recognize some sort of deceptive ways and maybe trying to fix that. Okay. All right. So with all that said, let's get into the messages for today and see what we've got. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, May, no, Monday, no, Wednesday. <laughs> Why did I say Monday? For today, Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, guys, so now the energy has changed a little bit. Now there's this bright yellow with some blue, and the green is in there too. So I really think someone is coming to terms with wanting to communicate. Um, they're starting to like work up the, the drive, the ambition, the confidence to, to reach out potentially. Giving us three shuffles here for today, Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. But then the green color is still in the focus. So the heart chakra, there's some sort of action that wants to be taken from the heart chakra. All right, guys, let's see what we've got here. Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. The Six of Swords. This is a short one. Okay, we have the Empress here. Okay, immediately, immediately. What I'm getting from the Empress is that there is an energy uh, of so some sort of nurturance that's needed. Ooh, wee. There's some sort of nurturance that's needed here. Wow, this is a really short reading today, you guys, but here it is. Um, there's the Two of Swords in reverse, the Six of Swords is upright, and then the Eight of Pentacles. What I'm picking up here is if you are the feminine 
energy in this situation if we're talking about we're talking about um, some sort of love situation I guess if you are the feminine counterpart if you are looked at as seen as the empress in this situation you are needing to be I want to say extra loving and caring and nurturing and compassionate I almost want to tell you to lay it on thick but not exactly like the spirit is saying emphasis show that you can be that nurturing compassionate empress energy that doesn't mean that you have to kowtow that doesn't mean that you have to um, let down your guards or your boundaries maybe too early but show that you are stand up as the empress here okay um now here's the beauty I, I see i told you there was some there's like there's some sort of energy of wanting to take some sort of action here maybe um building the the drive the the cojones the balls the 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 confidence maybe even putting a plan together trying to figure out logically how to do it playing it out in one's head or whatnot but we have the two of swords in reverse here okay so and yeah indecisiveness is gone indecisiveness is gone now in yesterday's reading um, we did have a situation in which, uh, and yesterday's reading being the reading that I ended up not being able to post, but um, there was a counterpart situation, okay? Um, first of all, the, emp the, 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 um, the Queen of Wands was underneath the deck and the King of Swords came out. And the way that I was reading the energies um, and the way that I felt I was seeing, I was in fact seeing the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands as types of counterparts. For because to me, fire and air matchups, pairings go very, very well together, especially if it's a feminine fire and a masculine air, okay? Um, but then once I got to the clarifiers, you had the Two of Swords, not the Two, I'm sorry, um, you had the, the Two of Cups the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and there was one more. I don't exactly remember, but that was the main one. I mean, also the Ace of Cups was around also, but in this specific section of the, the clarifiers, you had the King of Cups with the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups between them, okay? So there's definitely a counterpart situation here. And what I was picking up in that reading from yesterday is that somebody was seriously, seriously overthinking the situation. And now I kind of feel like <laughs> I just heard he's ready to move or you're ready to move or they're whatever. They're ready to move. She's ready to move. Specifically, I heard he's ready to move. You have the two of swords in reverse with the six of swords here. Now, the six of swords is why I am really feeling encouraged to encourage you guys or guide you guys, whoever is the empress in this situation here, to really show that caring, compassionate, and nurturing side of yourself. I'm not saying to go out of your way to do so, but just let that energy flow. Let that let that shine within you, okay? You don't have to be so cold. You don't have to be so distant. I understand, you know, you don't want to give too much in order to not, you know, get wrapped up in something and now you're being taken advantage of. You can set your boundaries and still be this loving, caring, nurturing counterpart to an emperor, okay? Now, you do have the Eight of Pentacles here. And when it came out, it was kind of sideways. I'm not so worried about that. Okay, I do feel like coming up, there's going to be some effort put into the situation. There's going to be some work done. Somebody just has to heal, do some mental healing first. Somebody needs to feel comfortable, feel sure that number one, they're not going to get played. And this is coming from the 
yeah, from the counterparts, from the counterparts' end. So basically, from the emperor's end, because the emperor is the the counterpart to the empress, right? The emperor needs to make sure that he's not going to get played. He's not going to be taken advantage of. He's not going to be played for a fool. He's not going to be made to look like a fool. Okay, the emperor is willing to commit and is willing to do the effort to make things work, to make things happen. But if there is any sort of chance that he could be played. He's not gonna do it, cause homie don't play that shit. Like he's got an he's got an empire to run. He's not running around, you know, when he's positively aspected. He's not running around doing things frivolously. Like he's got too much on his plate for that shit. Like he's too grown for that. Okay. I do feel like some action is coming. Is going is about to be taken work is about to be put in and this could be really slow i'm not saying that all of a sudden all at once bam you've got this like extreme effort from someone but i'm saying where there wasn't in the past there could really the chances are there really could be coming up in the near future okay all right let's get into the clarifier section now please excuse my sniffling my allergies are finally starting to kick in um, they're a little late this year for me, I have to lie, which I'm very surprised about because others are like dying, but I'm used to it. I mean, like I, ever since I was a kid, it, whenever, like right around my birthday, maybe like the week or two before my birthday, my allergies would be so bad that I couldn't be outside for more than five minutes or my face would explode. So I'm very grateful for this little extra time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Getting into the clarifier section here. I'm going to be using the Golden Universal Tarot. Now, normally I use this, I save this deck for the monthly readings, but I just got a new one because my old, my old deck was kind of like worn out and everything and I just wanted a, a refresher and these cards are so fucking beautiful. Like, I just love this deck. So I'm using it today. Boop. Okay. So we're going to get some clarifiers. And because this is a shorter reading, I do kind of want to clarify each card that we have here. We're going to start with the Two of Swords in reverse, then to the Six of Swords, and then the Eight of Pentacles. Alrighty? So here we go. Three shuffles here. Just some clarity, please, Spirit. Starting with the Two of Swords in reverse. Uh, action is about to be taken, is what I'm hearing. There was some sort of indecisiveness in the past, but now something feels sure. And you know what? It really could just be a matter of time has passed and feelings still stand. Interest in a situation still stands. So now someone's kind of like, hmm, okay, maybe we could take this a little further. Um, there's a situation in which someone may have felt like uh, you know, maybe if there was some sort of attraction between the two of you, it was just lust. And now it's someone starting to finally see just through through time that it's more than just lust or it could be more than just lust. Like, don't get me wrong. There could be a strong, lustful att attraction. But it, now that it's been so long, however long that is for you, um, now someone's finally starting to think, okay, maybe this is more than just lust. That's pretty specific. Again, this is a general message. Please take what resonates, okay? But let's see what we can get here for this Two of Swords, please, Spirit. Ooh, chow. What did I just say? I'm going to leave it there. Oh, I told you. Okay, underneath the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune, right? And looky here. You've got the Knight of Wands <laughs> with the Page of Pentacles, all right? So yeah, there could be some lustful energy here, but you see what I'm picking up with this is that, yes, someone wants to move in hot and heavy, you know, someone's got that fire, someone's got that attraction, but also there there's an offer wanting to be put forth in the Page of Pentacles, okay? This could just be a friendship right now, okay? It's a page, it's not a king, it's not even the knight, all right? It's the page. Now, that's not such a bad thing, okay? Pages are not so bad, you know? Pages are messengers. And honestly, something has to start somewhere, okay? And I really kind of feel like even though this person 
this could be you, this could be someone you're connected with. Even though this person may feel hot and heavy and ready, I feel like they're being very practical about it and being like, okay, well, let me just start out small and see where this goes, all right? Because you do have, you just, we're talking the two of swords in reverse here. There was a num there was a bit of, of um, indecisiveness, right? And then you do have the Wheel of Fortune. So I really do feel like this is for both sides. This is for the person that wants to take some action. And this is for the counterpart here, represented by the Empress. I feel like this is going to work out very well for both of you. Okay. It's going to work very well in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is also speaking to, in this situation specifically, it's speaking to some sort of change of heart or some sort of um, just change in the feelings. Okay. Now, also, something that I'm picking up with this Empress energy here, um, this could represent something being in a gestation period. Okay. Someone wants to offer something. There's some sort of message. And honestly, this really could just start in the form of a friendship with this page of pentacles here. Let's start off small and see where it takes us. Okay? Hey, look, number one, it's better than nothing, okay? And I say that um, in all seriousness. Like, I'm not just trying to be flippant or aloof. It's like, hey, it's better than nothing. No, literally, it's better than nothing. Um, and as I said, I said it twice already. I'll say it one more time. Everything's got to start somewhere. Just let it play out. Let it happen. Because, look, there's passion, Maybe even lust, but there's, there, and, and if, okay, fine. If you want to take it at just like face, base value, there's at least some sort of desire to move forward in some sort of direction. Okay. The desire is here. And this doesn't have to be some crazy lustful, like, oh my God, I want to like tear, rip your clothes off you and, and like jump your bones. I mean, you could, it could, it could be that. Don't get me wrong, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be, all right, cool. I actually think I want to move forward with this. Like I feel, I feel something here. I feel passionate about this. This I feel excited about this exuberance. Like let's, let's let's move this forward. Let's okay. Let's let's take one more step. Page of Pentacles. Yes. Okay. So Six of Swords here. The healing aspect. Six of Swords, please, Spirit. Just some clarity on this Six of Swords here. Mm, that's interesting. Oh, shit. Okay, Six of Swords here. Oh, 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 shit. Underneath the deck is the Ace of Cups. And then, what do we have here? This is the High Priestess. And now here's the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so we're, ooh, oh, 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 y'all. Okay, check it out. So the Four of Pentacles fell out first, and this fell out over here with the Knight and the, the Knight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. And I was like, holy shit, what's that about? We were just talking about somebody opening up. Well, they have. They have opened up, but, or they are opening up, okay? They're in, a, they're, they're in a process of opening up because you have now gone from the Page of Pentacles to, I'm sorry, yeah, from the Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles with the Six of Cups, so. And with that, you have the High Priestess. So somebody's listening to their intuition here. And they're recognizing some sort of soulmate bond. Six of Cups, okay? And so now they're like, okay, okay. Yes, slow and steady wins the race. But now this is more serious than just like a, hey, let's be friends. Page of Pentacles. This is like, um, I actually want to pursue something with you, but I want to do it correctly. I want to do it right. I don't, because I don't want this to fall apart because I recognize the connection that we have each other. I just heard, I literally just heard the bond is still strong. 
So what that means is, and then you have this Ace of Cups here. So what that means is in, in spirit just saying the bond is still strong, that's coming from a past life situation. Now, yes, it could be what I was talking about before, whereas like you met someone and there was a big surge of attraction between the two of you and, you know, someone was feeling pretty lustful. Okay, but then time has, time has passed. Oh, yes, with the Wheel of Fortune that was underneath the deck when we were clarifying this Two of Swords in reverse over here. The Wheel of that, and it's funny because I was trying to feel like, I was, I was saying to myself, there's something more in this Wheel of Fortune and I can't pick it out right now. Now I see what it is. The Wheel of Fortune was representing time, time passing and luck changing, karma changing maybe. But as time passed, someone was like, okay, well, you're really hot or I'm super attracted to you. I kind of want to offer you something, but I don't know. Four of Pentacles. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to open up. I'm going to stay closed off. This really could just only be lust. And I'm not trying to get into that any longer. Like, I'm... Um, Somebody might be saying, I'm too grown for that shit, like, or circumstances or just like, I just can't do that. Time moved on. Luck was on your side. The wheel of fortune turned. And now someone with the six of swords here is ready to move forward mentally, okay, mentally. And, and thus, as they are listening to their intuition the high priestess, okay? And they're recognizing the bond between the two of you. They're coming to realize that the bond is still strong. So yes, that could mean time has gone on and they're saying to themselves, okay, I still have this deep attraction for this person. And okay, now I think I'm comfortable enough to start to take some action here with the Knight of Pentacles. But Spirit is also saying the bond is still strong between the two of you because this is a fact of, in fact, a past life connection. And someone is starting to realize that, High Priestess. They're listening to their intuition and seeing the deeper bond between the two of you and now someone is recognizing the love that they have for you or vice versa. You may be recognizing the love that you have for this person. Okay. And maybe they may be thinking about offering you something now. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay. So now moving forward, because also the two of swords came out again and it came out in reverse again. And it fell out on the Eight of Pentacles. So I do feel like there is some sort of, there's some sort of indecisiveness that has been over, that has been overcame, overcome here, has been surmounted. And now um, there is going, to, I feel like, I really feel like there's going to be some clear energy or clear space for some sort of action or effort to be put taken or put into the situation here okay i just want to get two more clarifiers here just to make this even because the other two have three so let's let's see for this eight of pentacles please spirit for this eight of pentacles please that's enough they say the three of wands wow with strength okay all right. Now I could try and get, <laughs> I could try and get another card, but I don't need to because I'll just be opening Pandora's box and I could get like a whole, I could get like a hundred more cards. <laughs> I mean, obviously there isn't a hundred more cards in the deck, but you get what I'm saying. Like half the deck could fall out and then I'm forced to interpret this massive story, <laughs> which I could do, but it's not necessary. Spirit saying you've got the answers that you need. So now remember the three of wands came out in the pre-shuffle. And I was saying, oh my God, this is beautiful. I was saying with that three of wands, someone is in the process of waiting for their ships to come in, right? Now, what I'm, see what I'm seeing here is this person recognized it, probably recognized it a little while ago and was like, huh, okay, but you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go out to that ship right now. 
I'm going to, they just got here. I'm going to let them settle, get their things together. You know, they're being all rational about it. Let me just, let me just let them settle, get their things together. I'm not even sure I really want this ship knit anymore, but you know what? I mean, that's not, that's not entirely true. There's just, God, there's this, there's this resistance to something coming in here. Maybe not believing, okay? Like, it, like, hold on, wait, this literally just landed in my lap. This could be, this is like, this has to be too good to be true. Okay, and so that's where the Two of Swords energy came in. It's like, mm, I'm not sure about this. I think I'm gonna wait it out. Cause what happens if they just like disappear? Like, especially, yeah, because you had this lustful energy here with the Knight of Wands. So it's like, and someone, someone was wiser than that. Like, don't get me wrong, you know, we all like to smash now and then, but like when something, when the feeling is really deep, you don't want to just like smash and then be done with it. Like you want something to last. So you're probably going to wait hold out to like see what the situation is like to investigate a little bit more to feel into it a little bit more thus you have the two of swords energy but now someone either this could now this could be a leo um but someone may have finally come to realize after working a little bit to to, to tame the beast they're seeing there's more they're seeing the potential in the relationship they're listening to their intuition and they're like oh man this actually really could be something more holy shit wait a second this actually could be everything that i had been dreaming of hoping for wishing for praying for like holy shit i think my ship has really come in and so now see because this is this is this is clarifying the eight of pentacles so now this person could be either you or the other person could be taking steps to make it out to that ship that has just come in Whew. wow guys this is really cool Ugh. all right I'm going to try it. Just one more card here because they're saying no. Now they're saying to me, no, get get one more card. OK. All right. One more card for this eight of pentacles, please, spirit. Just one more, please. Just one more. They tricked me. <laughs> oh, more Leo energy, though. You, you see that they tricked me because I got actually four cards, but it's okay. We can do this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Okay, we have more Leo energy with the Six of Wands here now. So victory is at hand. Like someone can go ahead and feel do a victory lap. I really do feel like someone is feeling super, super confident right now. Okay, especially, yeah, strength came out and now the six of wands is underneath the deck someone is feeling super super confident they're just feeling very sure of themselves they're being feeling very happy proud of themselves like <clears throat> they might be feeling a little arrogant i'm not gonna lie there's a little bit of entitlement that i'm picking up on here so like slow your roll buddy <laughs> okay i understand you feel great you know your person is has arrived your ships have come in blah 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 but like don't gloat too much okay <laughs> but looky here look at what came out the eight of pentacles came out again with the six of pentacles this time and it fell on this stack with the high priestess the knight of pentacles and the six of cups Someone really wants to take some sort of effort or put some sort of work in to make a balanced and harmonious situation between the two of you. And then you, ha whoa, okay. And then what fell out here on the actual eight of pentacles from the first pull with the clarifiers of the three of wands upright and the two of, wand two of swords in reverse, death and the hanged man. A massive, massive change in perspective. Like, massive a transformation a change in perspective i'm telling you i feel like somebody had a really big change of heart here big change of heart huh. and actually it, it now that i think about it it doesn't feel like it's that massive of a change because i feel like it was down it was down in their heart to begin with. It was just buried and deeply hidden. Um, didn't really want anybody to see it. 
So had it covered up real good. But now someone, someone feels so victorious. Six of Wands, like, ooh, they are on cloud nine. But I'm saying, yo, like, stay humble, okay? Don't gloat too much. I understand this is a big opportunity. This is, I mean, it really kind of feels like it's everything that you've been asking for. <laughs> Just, you know, stay humble. <sighs> okay. Well, shit. And you know what's so funny, you guys? I like I've said pretty often that I don't necessarily do love readings like this like it's not my intention to bring you a love reading but for the last month two months I guess at this point maybe month and a half now but for the last we'll say month just to be safe love readings every freaking day <laughs> <laughs> whatever guys I, I'm just the channel I'm just the messenger I have no agenda Okay, here we go, kids. I wanna get some oracle guidance from the Whispers of Love, and then I think I wanna close the reading with the Crystal Mandala deck today. <sighs> All right. Just some oracle guidance here. Um, what's best to do in this situation? What is best to do? Just. Just some advice, please, Spirit. Some advice in terms of this situation here. Just some advice, please. Just some advice, please, Spirit. Okay. Coolio, yo. So, <laughs> this through the hanged man. Oh shoot, oh my God, you guys, look at what just happened. So two, the first two cards that fell out of the deck here from the Whispers of Love, they hit the hanged man and they turned the hanged man right side, uh, upside down. Enlightenment, dude, somebody's awakening. Somebody has gone through an awakening process. Um, someone has woken up. Someone actually might be waking up. Um, I would say they are officially awakened if judgment came out here but here you have the hanged man which is um you know an enlightenment a change in perspective but it's also with death so this is a massive change so this is some sort of awakening that's going on here okay that's so cool all right so we'll see what these two cards are in a second but the, the first card i want to read is the first card that fell out face up and that is well the only card that fell out face up and that is choose love you always have a choice as to what to do so the advice here is to continue to choose love. If anyone is afraid, like if there is a, if I'm speaking to a masculine energy out here that is kind of nervous about choosing love or accepting love or being loving or being the loving, caring, compassionate um, person that you actually know yourself to be, but you don't show anybody else, choose love. Because regardless of what other people, how other people react to it, first of all, your person is gonna love it. And your person will love you more for it. And that, in their opinion, if any opinion matters, in my opinion, the, the opinion of the person that I'm closest to, my person, my soulmate, whatever, whatever you wanna call it, soulmate, love, a uh, 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 romantic partner, um, intimate partner, ro um, life partner, whatever, whatever you wanna call it, boyfriend, whatever. His opinion, to me, would matter the most out of everyone else's at base value. You know what I mean? Obviously, that will change between circumstances. But like, if I were to say I would go to someone first, it would be the person that I'm romantically involved with, the person that I've decided, chosen to, you know, have a committed relationship with, okay? Um, so I say all that to say choosing love will never let you down will never let you down. It might be a painful situation sometimes and there may be some things that you have to learn, but ultimately it will only make you stronger and will only make you better, a better lover moving forward, okay? So I'm really, I'm really, yeah, this is for a masculine out there. there you're, a, you're somewhat apprehensive because of the opinions of others. Don't listen to that shit. Because let me tell you, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, okay? So don't let it bother you. We also have here, Mm -hmm. Hmm. Card number 49, actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. 
All right, someone's got to take some steps here. And then you have card number five, show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. So the advice here is really just to take it slow. You don't have to make some huge gesture. It actually would be better for you to make, to consistently make small gestures at first to build some sort of foundation for the other person or this empress here to say, hmm, their counterpart, whoever this counterpart is to you, for this, for this person to say, hmm, okay, well, they're being pretty consistent. Maybe I can open up a little bit more. Uh, where are you? Here you are. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. You don't have to make some huge gesture. Consistent, smaller gestures, and the key word here is consistent, smaller gestures are actually more powerful than sporadic, massive gestures. It's the consistency. Doesn't, how, doesn't matter how big the gesture is, it's the consistency. Let me say that again. It's the consistency. One more time for those in the back. It's the consistency. Knight of Pentacles, yes? Excellent. Let's close out the reading here with the Crystal Mandala deck. It's the consistency. <laughs> Okay. All right, cool. We got it. Okay, Eric, we hear you. Okay, excellent. Just, you know, hey, just making sure, you know, just, just want to be clear. <laughs> All right, guys. Closing message here from Spirit. I think, I, I think actually I'm going to title the video that. Yep. Because that's a really important part of this message here. All righty, kids. Closing message for Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. Please, spirit, closing message here. There it is. We've got card number 36. Ascended Master Mataji and Crimson Cuprite. Relief and Repair. 36. This is a nine. So a nine is an ending, which makes perfect sense. Relief and repair, that, that's quite beautiful. Here we go. Oh wait, wait, no, I passed it. I passed it, I passed it. There it is, alrighty. Relief and repair. We bring you the blessing of relief and repair. Our warmth and nurturing will restore and rebalance your body, mind, and soul when the light of spirit burns too brightly. Spiritual light is like the light of the sun. It brings life and joy, but too much can burn. If that happens to you, you will feel overwhelmed, overheated, overexcited, and overstretched mentally, physically, or emotionally. You will, we will help you recover and increase your ability to be exposed to spiritual light again in future without becoming overloaded or burnt out. We ask you to soften and relax into our rich red energy now, which nourishes you with the cooling, restorative life force of the Earth Mother. We shall help you naturally discharge excess energy whilst we revive, strengthen, and fortify you with our nourishing grace. That's beautiful because I do feel like, yes, yeah, someone definitely, yeah, someone is definitely going through some sort of awakening or enlightenment here, death and the hanged man, which is now in reverse, which I'm going to leave that way because to me that represents that there has been enlightenment has been achieved or a new perspective, a new way of seeing something is dawning or has broken through. And I want to read this paragraph here. The, the oracle of relief and repair comes with a message about your spiritual growth. You may or may not be aware of it, but you are learning to call more spiritual light into your body, your mind, and your life. 
Perhaps you have been praying to the universe more, asking for help. Perhaps you have been meditating more often or reading spiritual books and opening your mind to new levels of consciousness. Or perhaps your soul has just been growing even if you don't quite know why it is happening or recognize it consciously. This is all good. However, your body needs time to adjust to the in increase in light. If you just keep going without taking a short break, it would be like continuing to eat and eat and eat without taking time to digest and eliminate between meals. Although you may be eating very good quality meals, in time, it won't matter. It will just be too, it will just become too much. So the Oracle will help you. Take a short rest and repair now so you don't become unwell or overloaded and need to take a much longer break later on. You are being given healing and you need it. When you have a strong spirit that is connected, that is conditioned your body and mind to simply keep up, it can be easy to forget that although your spirit is an unlimited being, your body and mind exist within a reality held together with the parameters of time and space. This means that although your spirit doesn't need sleep or recovery time, your body and mind certainly do. <sighs> some of you might want to invest in some crimson cuprite. Do you want to take a look at that there? Okay. But there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing happy hour this week. I have this project that I'm going to do, that I need to do for class. It's due on Friday. So um, I think I'm going to hold off on happy hour this week and because uh, normally that would be today. But anyway, but stay tuned. I'll keep you guys posted. Yeah? I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!